What's up, you guys? So I wanted to talk tonight about this topic of freedom versus not being lonely. Um, I'm currently traveling right now as like a digital nomad working on stuff back at home in the US, but living and like working out of my backpack and my laptop uh, in Colombia, Cartagena specifically. So it's like a very different lifestyle than what a lot of my friends and family back home are doing. Uh, like, you know, most people usually stay their whole lives like where they were raised or where they grew up um, because it just makes the most sense for them and because that's where they feel the most like accepted, they feel the most around people that are like them and like-minded. Um, but then there's always people that kind of like go out of the box, leave their towns, leave their communities, like end up in different places, leave their religions, ideologies, whatever. And uh, they tend to find a lot of freedom that way. You can find a lot of freedom in leaving like the place that you grew up in or that you've spent the past year, few years in or that you've been living in for like, you know, the place where you've been working in, working for or whatever, it can be very, it can feel very free to leave like a place that felt that you, where you felt captive for so long, but at the same time, like it could also feel very lonely. So how do you maintain your freedom without being lonely? By the way, I have to show you something really cool over here. Uh, so this is like the place where I'm staying. It's like a, uh, like it's like the upstairs part of the office. It's like a lounge. And then this is the view outside of it. The view of Cartagena, the water. And like, this is where I get to work on my laptop. <laughs> and so it's like a whole, I just wanted to show you that. I just wanted to show you that because it's really cool. So it's really nice, like being able to be here is really nice, but obviously I'm not near family, friends, one travel partner, um, but other than that, nobody that I knew from before. And you know, uh, I've been meeting people here, we've been meeting like really interesting, cool people, like the past 24 hours, met three really cool people that, and one of them is actually from Texas also, and is kind of like doing the same exact thing actually. So it's cool, and it, it, this is just within the first like few days of getting here in, in Colombia. So there's it could be very rewarding, but also scary, and could be lonely if you if you don't fully let yourself like get out there. So how do you how do you like get the freedom that you want? Leave your community, like move to a different place. Um, get out of your box without without getting trapped inside your mind and like getting trapped in loneliness and I think it's really important to like not make jumps too fast like don't leave your community don't leave your place where you're at without having a balance between like a new community that you're gonna jump to so like let's say you're leaving your religious community for me it felt really safe and comfortable to have a political conservative community that I jumped to. So actually when I left the religious orthodox community, like when I left that lifestyle, I had another community that I had like into was integrating into and that was a conservative like political community in DC, which was also very tight knit, just like the Orthodox Jewish community. And I ended up feeling a little suffocated by that community too, but that was a really nice segue into like leaving the previous community and exploring myself outside of that but still having another community to like foster some sort of like feeling that I was still part of a tribe part of something so try to find I would say try to find like a new place and wherever you're going to next wherever you're leaving your previous community where you felt confined or where you just didn't didn't want to be in anymore you're like moving to a new place I would say try to find a new community in that new place just as a segue you know what I mean you don't have to stay there 
forever. You don't have to like stay, you know, like I didn't end up staying in the conservative political world. You know, I still have my friends from there and I'm still friends with people there, but I'm not like super in it anymore. And I don't like really work in politics anymore at all. Actually, I'm totally disconnected work wise, you know, and I'm in a totally different world now. But, um, and then, but now I'm in like, you know, kind of the world of like people that are entrepreneurs that travel and they're in real estate. It's kind of like a mix of people that do things that I do. But the more I do it, the more I find that I'm less lonely because I'm meeting people that are doing the same thing as me. So yeah, in the beginning, like when you don't know exactly what you want to do with your life and when, when your whole identity is defined by the people around you, then when you leave that community or like that group of people, you also feel like you lose your sense of identity, so it becomes very lonely. But as time goes on and the more you get into the habit of like jumping to a new place, jumping to a new place and like finding, you know, choosing where you want to be, you're the one choosing, not anybody else. The more you get in the habit of doing that, you, your process becomes more refined and you end up more and more and more alongside people that are just like you. You end up like with people that are almost perfectly, exactly your match, which maybe you would not you would never have had the chance if you never left your original box uh, where everybody was the same, but, but nobody actually knew who they were. So do you even know if you're the same, you know? So, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I think there's, I think this is like a really important topic because especially now that it's really easy to like get out of your comfort zone, like, you know, it's really easy to get out of your box and be exposed to different types of people and communities. And so like people are kind of like, and travel is really easy. So I think a lot of people, and then also like a lot of us are working from home and like kind of digitally separated from everybody else. It, it, it could get really easy to become comfortable in like just being isolated the whole time, you know? And um, just because you didn't fit in with wherever you were before, it doesn't mean that there isn't a group of people that are like, very much like you. You just have to keep joining new communities. You, you can't give up. You can't be like, well, I like nobody's like me, so I'm just like gonna be by myself forever. Um, I think it's really important to keep like actively searching, like keep joining new communities. And even if the community is totally off from where you were before, you know, like people are like, oh, like there's no point in leaving your old religion and then joining a new religion, leaving your old community, joining a new community. There is a point. If you fit, if you feel like you're looking for a tribe and you and it makes you feel less lonely, you don't have to you don't have to be stuck with the new place. You can keep getting in the habit of jumping to a new place, a new place, a new place until you become more comfortable with like that one that like one refined group that is like just like you. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. Um, definitely want to hear your feedback, so let me know in the comments, um, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.